going to cut? Yep, there you go. Mm. Nice. Again, good dunk. Clear for takeoff. Nice, nice shot. We need more dunks. That's what we need. Oh, no. Yeah, we get it. Spank. There it is. Nice. Nice. I like it. That's it. All right, let's get a stop here. Stop here, guys. OK, I, I got the big man. That's a terrible mm. play. Oh. Uh. All right, I'll run one more back. All right, double dunks. We took the loss. They had a little small point guard that was running to the corner, shooting all the three. The 76ers anxious to get off the bus and get down to business. A look from earlier as they arrived at the arena. We all know how pivotal Game 5s have been throughout playoff history. We're proud to bring you another one right here, live on 2K Sports. This is Brian Anderson. I'm here with Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, our reporter, Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Well, guys, we've seen star players forcing their way to new teams, and Commissioner Adam Silver said, quote, there will always be situations where guys are unhappy. You always hope that those don't play out publicly. When you have players actively seeking to move while they're under contract, that's not good for the league. Brian, let's see what happens. All right, Allie, thanks. So let's take a look at the starters for the Philadelphia 76ers. Up front, it's Tucker at the four, next to Embiid in the middle. De'Anthony Melton out there with James Harden. And it's Harris in at the three. And for the Celtics, Tatum and Horford at the forward slots. Smart and Brown, a great defensive backcourt. And it's Williams in at the five, down low. Taking a look at the 76ers. They've played a tremendous series so far. But tonight may be their biggest challenge yet. Here in game five, often determines the series outcome. We've seen it time and time again. Now, they'll need to block out the distractions, execute offensively, and get some big stops down the stretch. Outside Tucker. Harris outside. From behind the arc. Harden can't hit. There's Tatum with the three. That shot missing. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Harden against Smart. Here's Embiid. Williams grabs the board. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Here's Brown. And the layup is good. Well, this is where the powerful frame and explosive athleticism of Jalen Brown becomes a problem for the opponent. Nicely done. Now here's Harden. Pass to Melton. Back to Harden. Now here's Harris. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, Harris is all hard. He won't relent with the plays. He ends up getting an and one chance. One shot. so far and that was the mobile one drive no resistance to the finish line he made that drive look easy but that had a high degree of difficulty outside heart Melton outside pass to Tucker six to shoot here's Harden here's the three Rebound by Jason Tatum. Yet another miss. Just one for five. Not exactly an ideal start. That shot is off. Impede with the nice defensive effort. 
They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Melton outside. Shoots over Brown. The rebound, Celtics. And for him, that's a great look. Expect him to go right back to it if it's available. Uh, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on P.J. Tucker. That's his first foul of the game. A remarkable defensive play. The replay showing once again the tenacity on that end. Oh, you can feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Pass to Harden. Inside, MB. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Well, if you're that wide open, I can promise you James Harden will find you. The Celtics with the lead. Now Williams. Count it. One for one to start the game. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. Harden with it. Melton outside. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Ooh, rejected by Horford. Well, this guy is a consistent shot block threat. Al Horford twice on the pipes. Here's Smart. Oh, excellent D there from Harden. The 76ers have gone only two of six from the field. Here's the floater. Nice D from Horford. Oh, strong move toward the rim. Just couldn't get it to fall. Here's Tatum. Second shot opportunity. And he takes it up and lays it in. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. And Philadelphia calls time here. Really with the offense reeling, coach has to get these guys on the same page. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Williams is checked in for Williams. Hauser comes in for Tatum. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for Jalen Brown. And it's White in for Smart. Now here is Harold. Over Horford. Harold, no good. Now here's White. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. I think the thing that's most striking about Derek White, guys, he's capable of affecting games in so many ways. Yes, he can score it. Excellent passer and a very versatile cross-positional defender. A guy who can contribute to a good team. White hits them both. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Outside Maxi. It's McDaniels on the wing. Pass to Harrell. Shot clock at three. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's on Al Horford. Well, Harrell is not going to back down. Hangs tough and finds the shot opportunity. He gets to the foul line. Taking two shots. No good on the free throw. Muscala, he's checked in for Boston. And he sinks the second. Boy, what you appreciate nightly about Montrez Harrell is he leaves nothing on the floor. This guy plays with ferocity, with energy, and he's turned himself into a legitimate threat. Now here's Williams. Right side white. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Personal foul. Third team foul. At the line. Derek White at the line for two shots. And he can't get the first one. He hits the second from the line. The Sixers trailing. Pass to Nia. To the inside. He's off on that one. Hey, nice D from Muscala. Two minutes. 
White with it. Niang's there. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. <laughs> the way they've gotten after rebounds has been impressive. To the paint. Oh, deflected. Hits stolen by Muscala. White with it. Harrell picks him up. Here's Brogdon. White for three. Basket is good on the assist from Brogdon. White's got six. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want. And defensively, they are connected and on a string. Now here's Milton. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Clock at four. Here's McDaniels. Knocked loose. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Pass to Williams. From eight feet away, the kick out to White. Not going to go that time. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Here's McDaniels. The rebound by Muscala. For Boston, they've gone 6 of 13 so far in this one. Let's it fly. Williams misses. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Maxey passes to Milton. Back to Maxey. Outside Milton. Out to the right wing. Here's Niang. Offensive rebound. Here's Harold. And they converted last on attempt number 3. If you do not box out Montrez Harrell, you are opening yourself up to offensive rebounds. This guy is a force there. Brogdon, the pass to Mescala. Here's Hauser. No good on the triple. And so it's the Boston Celtics with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. They've done well to disrupt the opposition, playing inspired defense. We'll be right back after this word. semifinal action. All right, guys, what do you think about the Celtics here in this one? Well, it's simple. When you can dominate the boards at both ends, you can control the second chance touches. And that's how they controlled the first quarter. I thought they were the much more physical team. Brown and Tatum are the explosive wing pair. Horford and Williams together in the front court. And it's Smart in at the one. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. Well, the mid-range is something Jalen Brown entered the NBA with. He looks very comfortable in that spot. Embiid. And then Embiid with the dunk. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. Smart finds Tatum. Harden against Smart. Pass to Williams. Six on the shot clock. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That one on Harris. Well, you like the level of aggression right there from Jason Tatum. Committed to scoring on the interior and draws the contact. That one falls for Tatum. And so he hits both. Jason Tatum continues to emerge, guys, as one of the most elite players on both ends. We know on the offensive end, he's a dangerous three-level scorer. He's also capable of locking you up defensively. Now here's Tucker. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. For three, here's Harris. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. three and the coaches rave about Harris in his three-point shooting. It helps his team space the floor. Pass to Smart. Here's Tatum. Rebound by the 76ers. 
Embiid's got four rebounds now. Here's Harden. Misses off the right iron. Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. And the call will be against James Harden. That's his first foul of the game. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. Melton, he's checked in for Maxi. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. Outside Tatum. Gets the three to fall. Tatum's got five points now this quarter. This guy's so effective from downtown. Jason Tatum knows he has the green light. He's so comfortable from range. Now here's Harris. He's got five. And Marcus Smart picks up the foul. That's his first foul. First team foul. Outside for Harden. Over Smart. Well, Marcus Smart matching his man every step of the way. This is just another example of remarkable defense from a guy who's known for it. 11 feet out. That went off the back iron and out. For Philadelphia, they've gone 2 of 4 here in the second quarter. Melton passes to Harris. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got his fourth rebound in this one. And here's Brown for three. Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Melton. The shot off that time. Brown with some nice D. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Harris against Horford from deep. Melton. The Sixers with another miss. Boston's gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Harden against Smart. Pass to Williams. On the wing, Tatum. Back to Smart. Clock at six. Shoots over Harden. Boston again missing. Philadelphia shooting around 29% in quarter number two. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Williams has checked in for Boston. Richard comes in for Smart. And Philadelphia also making a switch. House has checked in. Free throw off the mark from Harden. The old phrase, he lives at the line. That is James Harden, folks. And his struggles have been apparent. Unable to make an impact score in the ball. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. And the basket by Embiid. Mm -hmm. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. The Celtics with the lead. Timeout called Boston. the Celtics. Timeout. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. And some changes here for the Celtics. Muscala comes in for Horford, and it's White in for Jason Taylor. McDaniels is checked in for Philadelphia. Milton comes in for Harden. At the line for your Celtics, Grant Williams. At the line for two. He misses the free throw. So he comes up empty at the line. And that's surprising. He's usually automatic at the free throw line. Pass to House. Melton left side. And 
play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Now here's White. He has six. Out to the wing. Pass to Williams. White against Melton from 12 feet. White can't hit. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. Melton passes to Embiid. Back to Melton for three. Can't hit that one. And Boston going the other way now. They've led by as many as 11. Wow, this defense is blanking him down the stretch, and that's certainly hurting his team's chances. Now here's White. Pass to Williams. Ooh, good work defensively by Milton. For Philadelphia, they've gone 4 of 10 from the field in the second. Here he goes. And Pritchard pulls it down. Boston's gone one for three from downtown here in the second. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Exactly what good offensive players do. Lean into that defender. Level of physicality puts you at the free throw line. And the first one at the line is good. Some changes for Boston. Hauser, he's checked in for Jalen Brown. And Malcolm Brogdon is subbed in for Pritchard. The Sixers trailing. Right side, Bill. Outside McDaniels. Counted. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. And that replay showed how sensational that drive truly was. Yeah, I mean, to get a shot like that on a drive, oh, it's those type of plays that will chip away at the lead. And here's White. Back to Brogdon. Pass to Muscala from outside the arc. Knocks down the long K. And the Celtics lead by nine. They're shooting the three extremely well this quarter. Be fun to see if they can keep it up. It's McDaniels on the wing. They get the rebound. Boston's gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Maxey against Brogdon. Pass to Hauser. Now here's White. Fires the three. Knocks down the triple. White's got four points in the quarter. Love to see Derek White go right up with it off the catch. No doubt right there. Just get the jumper flowing. That'll count. Misses at the buzzer. And so it's the Boston Celtics now holding a 12-point lead at quarter's end. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Well, Jason, you hold the lead going into halftime. What's been your advantage so far? Uh, for, for most of the half, um, we were really good defensively. Uh, we let our foot off the gas a little bit, so uh, we got to do a better job. Keep the pedal to the metal, guys. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. We hope you're enjoying this round two conference semifinal. Looking at the Celtics, in the first half of this critical game five, They've played with intensity and energy, and they're now poised to grab that all-important three games to two lead in this series. And let's get your thoughts, big fella, on the Celtics. They wouldn't be ahead without the numbers they've got. Providing major contributions, especially at the offensive end, is taking a lot of pressure off the stars. What a luxury to have a second unit that can produce. And Kenny, your take on Philadelphia. Whatever they're trying to do on offense, it ain't working. If they have any chance of coming back in this one, 
They're going to have to be more methodical in their approach. Talent without discipline will never result in sustained success. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. for the Eastern Conference semifinals on 2K Sports. How about Derek White really making a difference here? He took a head-on approach in the first half, going straight at the D and drawing fouls. I have to love his tenacity. This guy stays in attack mode, makes defenders work, tries to keep them off balance. And let's get you back onto the court for more of this pivotal Game 5. And on the floor for Doc Rivers as we get into the second half. Up front, it's Tucker at the four, next to Embiid in the middle. James Harden out there with Anthony Melton, and it's Harris in at the three. I tell you, it's not often, but Marcus Smart working the pick and roll effective in that particular instance. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. And you know, B.A., even with the game well in control, he's going That's right at the rim. I love it. There's no debate there. He, he got him. First team foul. At the line for the 76. And he knocks down the first one. The Anthony Melton. Two shots. And Melton drops them both. Boston has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Pass to Williams. Up top, Horford. shot so two free throws for him coming you have to love how tough Al Horford is when he gets deep low post position it makes it really hard on the defense that one's off two shots he's off on the second and for Philadelphia they're shooting 27 percent in today's game not good hard to pass to Tucker the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That's on Al Horford. Don't make no mistake, guys. One of the more effective second-round picks we have in the NBA. Tucker provides a steady diet of production. First one falls for him. goes on to buy his hair. That'll be a second foul of the game. And we have to take another look at that block. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. Austin shooting only 39% so far in the game. Out to the right wing. Back to Tatum. Harden against Smart. Pass to Tatum. Here's Brown. Tipped away. Here's Melton. And he bangs it home with one hand. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Now here's Smart. Over Harden. And it's Smart missing. Boy, a forgettable night for him. But thankfully, his teammates have played well overall. Fades and shoots. Oh, the block just stops it cold and takes possession. Pass to Horford. Right side Tatum. Let's it go from deep. Buries it from three. Tatum's got ten. Al Horford is such a tremendous passer as a big man. Wow, does he get one done offensively? 
Timeout called. The 76ers. The That's a good timeout. They just can't hit anything. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Melton outside. Back to Harden. Melton left side from the arc. And then Embiid with the dunk. We all know rebounding is about effort. Embiid is showing lots of it. I love how he's unwilling to give up on the play. Now here's Smart. And it's blocked by Embiid. They get it back. Tatum against Harris. The three is up. And Tatum is good for three. Tatum's got six points in the quarter. The defensive intensity must pick up. It hasn't been the same this half. Back to Harden. Melton up top. Outside Tucker. Harris on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Harden from outside. The rebound, Celtics. Horford's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. There's Tatum with the three. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Melton passes to Embiid. Outside Tucker. This one for three. He can't get that one to fall. And Boston going the other way now. Pass to Tatum. Going inside. Smart with the ball. Jacks up a three. Sinks the tray. Smart has got his second basket of the night. All five of the last buckets they've given up have been from downtown. Now Harris. And here's Tucker. Smart grabs a miss. Melton against Tatum. To the middle. Here's Brown. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Harden's got four rebounds now. Pass to Tucker. Here's Melton. Embiid with it. Launches a three. Called in by Brown. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. And he can't get that one. Good D by Melton. The 76ers have gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. Harris passes to Melton. Three-pointer. Harden drains the triple. Harden's got five points. Well, this is the basis of James Harden's game, right? That three-point accuracy opens up every other aspect of the floor and his scoring ability. And Boston calls time here. It's now an opportunity to take a break and talk about their strategy moving forward. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Muscala, he's checked in for Williams. Williams comes in for Horford. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for Brown. And it's White in for Smart. And a new group getting ready for the Sixers. Harrell's checked in for Tucker. McDaniels comes in for Harris. Tyrese Maxey's checked in for Melton. And Milton subbed in for Harden. And so here is Philadelphia. The Celtics making their last shot. Maxey against Brogdon. And it's Maxey missing. Boston's gone three of four from outside in the second half. It's White with the drive. Soft touch off the glass. White's got four points this quarter. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. Now here is Harold. Pass to McDaniels. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Tatum. And the Celtics making a change here. Hauser's checked in. And Philadelphia also making a switch. 
house. He's checked in for MB. Fifty two seconds left in the third quarter here. Just two to shoot for three. Maxi. The rebound, Celtics. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Outside Tatum. Shoots over Maxi. Oh, he missed the chippy right there. Philadelphia has gone just one of six from long distance here in the third. The shots just aren't falling. by Philadelphia. Austin on offense. They're on a 13-5 run. White, the pass to Brogdon. On the wing, Tatum. Shoots over Maxi. True on the 14-footer. Tatum's got 15 points. Well, off the dribble, Jason Tatum continues to perfect multiple options in his own game. And so it's Jason Tatum making highlights for the Celtics. Hit a couple from downtown this quarter. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. We reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Well, the 76ers shooting only 26% for this game. Not good. Horford and Williams together in the front court. Brogdon and Brown are on the wings. And it's Smart in at point guard. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. And Robert Williams picks up the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. Here's Harris. Harden from outside. And after just a fantastic first half, he's really having trouble finding that shooting stroke. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Brogdon with the bucket. Well, you love to see Malcolm Brogdon take advantage of that frame, capitalizing in close. Pass to house. Here's Harris. Harden, the pass to Harrell. Some solid defense from Williams. Austin's gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Now smart. Good. And Brown gets the assist. They're fortunate to be leading after shooting below 40% in the first half. And no lack of aggression on that move. Good for the 2K drive. And the 76ers with possession. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. And he's able to get it back. Here's Harris. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Brogdon, the pass to Williams. And Williams punches it home. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. And just going right for the slam. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave no doubt. Timeout called. The 76ers. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. Well, night in and night out. Sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? Muscala. He's checked in for Boston. Pritchard comes in for Smart. Harden. He can't get it to go. Some solid defense from Williams. For Boston, they've gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Offensive rebound. The 76ers have got nothing to fall in this fourth quarter. 0 of 5. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. 
sees his man, has the angle on the interior, and drops a dime right there. Pass to Pritchard. Back to Brogdon. Down low. Pritchard gets it to go. Pritchard's got his first points of the night. Malcolm Brogdon has been rock solid since he won the Rookie of the Year award. This guy's capable as a scorer, and what a pretty pass there. Here's Cork Moss. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It goes on Malcolm Brogdon. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Celtics. What a performance for Beyond the Arc in this game. They stuck to their guns and it's paid off all game. Something else that they've had working for them is attacking the offensive glass. Boy, taking advantage and creating second chance points. Impressive. Horford, he's checked in for Boston. Embiid, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Tucker comes in for House. Brogdon. Pass to Pritchard. Shot clock at six. Now Horford from deep. And it's Harden who pulls down the rebound. Harden's got a rebound number five here tonight. Looking to end this cold spell. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Here's Pritchard. That one a little long. You'd like to see more effective ball movement there. Well, there's no doubt there were better options on the floor, but it certainly seemed like he had his mind made up. Brogdon against Harden. Brogdon into the lane. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. Pass to Harden. And here's Tucker. Outside Harden. Right wing. Embiid from outside. Boston with a rebound. It's Brown on the wing. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Boy, you have got to appreciate how hard Jalen Brown goes. Amazing how he gets defenders to foul him when he's going up with his shot. Free throw good. Brown, Tatum, he's checked in for Pritchard. Harris is checked in for Philadelphia. Melton comes in for Korkmaz. So it's Philadelphia now. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Steps back and shoots. Here's Embiid. Hey, now five for eight. Shooting a pretty good percentage right now. Boy, he's been cooking, but the teammates, he's just not getting a lot of support from them. Outside, Brown. On the wing, Tatum. For Harris, and it's Harris with the rebound. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Tucker. Melton on the wing. Shoots over Brown. Melton misses. Boston has gone 7 of 14 from the perimeter in this one. Brogdon, the pass to Tatum. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. 1.56 left in the fourth quarter. They get it back. Here's Williams. Embiid with a nice defensive effort. The 76ers shooting just 24% in this one. Not great. Here's Melton. And a foul so called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Second personal Jalen Brown picks one up. Team foul. Shooting for Phil. He's off on the first. Griffin, he's checked in for Boston. Richard comes in for Jason Tatum. And a new group getting ready for the Sixers. Deadman's checked in for Joel Embiid. Harrell comes in for Tucker. House, he's checked in for Tobias Harris. And Korkmaz is subbed in for James Harden. Brogdon, the pass to Griffin. Horford outside. Pass to Pritchard. Beyond the arc. That one is off. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. 
In this series setup, game fives are so important. A massive win for the Celtics. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Boston their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And with a win here in Game 5, they're able to snatch a 3-2 lead in this series. Yeah, they've got a sliver of breathing room now. Closing on a series is never an easy task, but they've got two chances to do it. We've come to expect big-time games from him. Just another day at the office for Jason Tatum. This guy has been shot making all night long. He commands the rock and takes over. Cornette's checked in for Boston. Hauser comes in for Brogdon. Here's Pritchard, covered by Milton. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. First personal foul, second team foul. At the line, Peyton Pritchard. At the line for two shots. And he makes the first. So he makes both from the line. 46 seconds left to play in the fourth. Pass to Korkmaz. Griffin against Harrell. And he banks in the layup. And that's how Harrell gets his offense. Being tougher and more physical than the guys trying to stop him. Griffin outside. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Pritchard. Shot clock at five. The three. And it's Harrell with a rebound. Outside Milton. We see the Celtics taking the W here. And with this win, they piled all the pressure. They only need one more victory to close the series out. And this was a critical performance. At 2 2, a team season could ride on a game five like this one. They did a terrific job of rising to the moment and taking control of the series. Time for us to say so long. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage during the second round of the NBA Eastern Conference playoffs. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off. So long, everybody.